Hello, Justine D'Andrea here with Creative Faith Cafe, and I'm going to be doing some Bible journaling using some of the um, parts from Notes of Cheer card kit. And um, I'm going to start by putting some gesso on my page using a clear gesso. And what you do is you just take a um, paintbrush and just brush it on. One of the things I like to do is take a card kit and then not only just use it for card making, but use some of the supplies to do some Bible journaling. And this is the first one that I'm doing. I've been wanting to do this for some time now, and um, I'm excited to be doing that. So if you wanted to see um, different techniques that I use to make card, the, this, this particular card set, it's the Notes of Cheer card kit from Stampin Up. So while this dries, I'm just going to go ahead and pray us into this session. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for um, this, the opportunity to come before you. I ask that you open our hearts and our minds, Lord, to just point out to us what it is we need to hear through this devotion and that we just take a breath. Help us to take that breath, Lord, just to rest in you and know that um, there's there's plenty of time for us to get done what we need to get done. But the priority should always be you, Lord. Praise you, praise you, praise you, Lord. In Jesus Christ, amen. So I'm going to be doing Ecclesiastes 3, um, 1. And this is a piece of the um, card kit that you actually put on top of one of the cards. But I'm going to use it as a stencil today. And um, sometimes when I do my Bible journaling, um, there's pages that are, are um, thick. Like I just showed you that they're... Um, I've put elements on there that make it bumpy. So what I have to do is just lay it flat. So that's what I'm going to do here. Also, I am using the Inspired Bible. I'm sorry, the Illustrated Bible. Let me make sure. The Illustrating Bible. This is the first one that came out. Um, so I'll be using that in my um, journaling today. I'm just going to take a deep breath. Uh, and just collect myself here because, um, yeah, I haven't done this in a while. All right, so I am using the Summer Splash ink, and I am using a blending brush, and I'm going to go ahead and stay focused on the smaller little um, butterfly here. I'm going to keep the color around that small butterfly. I don't want it to go into the other other butterflies because um, I'm actually going to use this to make a card also when I'm done with it. So just gently going over, especially on the smaller butterfly because it's thinner, uh, you know, thinner um, lines as far as I don't want to rip the, the paper. Just positioning them in different uh, in different ways, and you can also um, offset it off the page to give it a different look. Okay, and then I'm going to come over to the next color, and this one is going to be the, this is a really cool color, peach pie. I like this color, and again, just rubbing on with the blending brush. I am going to put a, some, a card on there. So you do want to, you got to um, kind of position it because that card is going to go onto the page. So you don't really want to put butterflies. I mean, you can put butterflies underneath it, but we're going to cover them up. So you just kind of want to adjust it. Um, and that is another card from a, uh, from the kid. So I want to just real, read real um, Ecclesiastes 3, A Time for Everything. 
For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to turn away, a time to search and a time to quit searching, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to search and a time to quit searching, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to hear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet and a time to speak, a time to love, a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. And, um... The next color that I'm using here is pretty in pink. And I'm um, just doing the same thing. Okay, so Ecclesiastes 3, a time for everything. I chose the butterfly because um, not only does it re represent the new creation, it also represents, um, you know, the cycle of the butterfly. Like I was thinking of that as I... Um, excuse me, as I was, um, it kind of popped in my head. So when I'm doing my Bible journaling, basically what happens is, um, I get little, like a picture or, or an image, um, and then I'll go for it. And I'm not worried about doing things exactly, um, the way I might picture it. I just let the Holy Spirit kind of guide me through it. And that's, that's the fun of it, like being childlike. So I'm going to cut so this is one of the cards that came in the kit and I'm cutting the back half of it so that it doesn't cover the words. Cause sometimes people don't like it when the words are covered. So this is maybe for one of those people who don't like it to cover the words. And then I'm going to go ahead and use wet glue and I'm going to um, attach that to directly to the page. Sometimes with the wet glue, you have to uh, release some of the dried <laughs> glue from the inside of the tip. And that's what I'm doing here. I love using wet glue, but sometimes it can be a little frustrating. All right. So um, while I'm trying to figure, to get that out, I'm going to also read a commentary from the Zondervan KJ, KJV um, commentary. So it says, events in this world are not rooted in happenstance. Everything that occurs under the heaven is tied to God's purposes. Like the butterfly, it goes through its cycle, right? That was my audit. Hence, because he is a wonderful God, everything that he purposes to bring to pass does come to pass and is wrapped up in the beauty of his person and his purposes. All things happen in their divinely appointed time. So, um, it also says, let me see. I don't know. It says, cool. In verse 11, it enables us to see perpetual change, not as something unsettling, but as an unfolding pattern, scintillating and God-given. The trouble for us is that, is us, not that life refuses to keep still, but that we can only see, we see only a fraction of this moment and a, and of its subtle, intricate design, instead of the change, changelessness, there is something better. So, um, again, there, that kind of reminds me of the butterfly, the intricacy of the, the wings and um, the pattern of the wings. Um, also, I wanted to mention that in the card, you can go ahead and write notes of your Bible journaling. So you could do this with any card that you have or make a card. I just wanted to add a little texture to the page. So I'm going to use some washi tape. 
different colors. Um, let's see. Instead of changelessness, there is something better. A dynamic divine purpose with its own character and its period of blossoming and ripening. Beautiful in its time and um, contributing to the overall masterpiece, which is the work of one creator. Since humans were made for eternity, temporal things cannot fully and permanently satisfy. So there I have the, the butterfly. I have the butterfly um, stencil. I'm going to get grab some. Um, oh, my goodness. Stickles. And you can't have a butterfly without some glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and stickle it a little bit there. So this is a pretty easy page. And um, you can do this uh, in any Bible that you have. Again, this is the illustrating Bible. This is a, this Bible is, um, was made for journaling. And it has the, the large um, column there. So that if you're one of the type of, if you're a type of person that doesn't like to cover the words, some people don't, and that's okay, um, then you would go ahead and just journal in the one side of the, the page. I'm just following the lines here on the, uh, on the butterfly. So the intricacy of God's plan for us, you know, there if there's always a one side and another, you know, there's there's the cocoon, you know, there's a time for the um the butterfly to eat, and then there's a time for it to go in the cocoon so that it can be transformed, and then it's transformed into this beautiful, um, colorful butterfly. Um That would be its journey. And that was part of it. journey and season kind of go um, together in my mind. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Just adding some stickle. You have to be careful, though, like when you're doing it, that you don't stick your hand in the wet stickle. And it doesn't take a lot of stickle to put on, um, or it doesn't take a long time for it to dry. Make sure it is dry before you close your Bible, so maybe let it um, stay overnight. So um, I just want to thank you for hanging out with me today. And um, if you are interested to see um, what the card kit is, um, I'll put the link um, here in the comment area and then um if you want it to get the kit also um the link will be there and you can do the cards and also do a, a bible journaling page with um like i showed you here let's see remember everything that occurs under the heaven is tied to god's purpose we don't have to worry we don't have to have anxiety. Um, we can have peace because that's what God wants for us. We just need to focus on him and let him guide us um, through the times that we don't understand and allow him to work through you. Even when we don't understand it, um, if you feel that tug on your heart that God's telling you to do something, I want to encourage you to um, to walk in the direction that you think he's leading you to open that door to see that if if that's where the peace is because it could be if you're if you're feeling unsettled in your heart and in your mind he will show you the peace i i 
I know he will. He's, he's done it for me. Okay. So, um, remember when you're doing journaling, um, make sure you date your, um, pages. It's, it's really important to, um, to do that. So that when you look back and you see how you, the different techniques and the process that you've, um, you've made, um, throughout the years. And again, remember that this is a card, uh, the butterfly card, you can open and put notes in that if you'd like, um, so that you're not writing on the page itself. And again, you can use this with any card, really, if you're, if you're beginning and that's the type of style that you want to do, um, I think it's a great way to add extra space to your page. I'm going to go ahead and add some rhinestones. A lot of times I have, oh, this actually is part of the kit. So you have also rhinestones. Uh, the washi tape didn't come with the kit, but the, the rhinestones came with the kit, the card, and then the, um, the kind of stencil that I used. It's a fun kit to use. All right. <laughs> I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, like I said, I haven't been doing videos for a while, so this is my first one coming back. And I just, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to to um, share my creativity with you. And um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this page. I hope that you'll give it a try. All right, so may God bless you and keep you. Until next time, um, I'll see you later.